Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft. I'm just out here fishing. That's all I'm doing. I'm looking for maybe a couple of name tags. Maybe a mending book would be great. I got my lure two and luck of the sea three going. Oh, what was that? That was, I think it was a, oh, it was an Nautilus shell. Nice. I did get a name tag not too long ago. Okay, so in the last episode, we created the bone zone. Now, I don't know if anybody's played it yet, and there seemed to be a little bit of confusion about it. First of all, yes, it is not a shop, per se, um, but I asked if it was okay, and, and everybody said it was okay, so I, I made it anyway. I do have something to fix that, though. We're going to actually uh, incorporate a little bit of shopping into the Bone Zone. How, you might ask? Well, come take a look at this. This is what I've been busy doing uh, for the last few hours. Boom! We have a wool farm an automatic wool farm look this guy's about to get cheered you saw it good you saw it i mean i just built it so we don't have a whole lot of wool happening here but um it's pretty good i tested this one first which is why he's got like a over a stack and a half oh wow you are catching up quick oh wow okay once i have a full stack of each one of these what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna build a little shop within the bone zone boundaries and sell sheep related items wool mutton and i'm hoping to get some sheep heads i don't know if i'll get any sheep heads i've been breeding these guys over here uh eventually i'm going to move their location to somewhere else we're going to remove that we're going to build more houses over on this side including removing this and building more houses i have actually built more houses this is new this is new um this one's new this one's new and i think this one's new too i built a bunch of houses i want to build a lot more and then i'm going to put like doors and stuff they're going to look good you know these houses are not just going to be any houses they're going to look good um but yeah breeding these guys i'm hoping that eventually i can get a couple sheep heads we'll sell the sheep heads at a ridiculously high price like i don't think anybody needs them but i want it to be like uh i don't run out of stock constantly <laughs> so i'm probably gonna sell them for like 10 diamonds each or something like that um, once I get one or two of them, I have like five chicken heads, but sheep I've got none. And surprisingly, cows. I don't think I have any cow heads either, and I've killed a lot of cows. That pile of diamonds is getting bigger and bigger. Ooh, we've got some new shops. Okay, okay, the bone zone is looking mighty fine. I wonder if, I mean, I've heard that people have been playing, so I kind of want to see what's going on here. And what is that? <gasps> that's a bookshop. I think that's Corrales' bookstore too. Okay, so, hey, I've got, that's not bad, six diamonds, so there's been six plays of the game. Here's what I'm going to do. I am going to put down a lectern with my book and quill, so maybe take this down. How does this, how, how would this look like right here? I think that's probably fine. Um, there's some instructions, very detailed instructions. Hopefully it's a little bit more clear now. I mean, I went into uh, very, very um, um, tight details. Tight details? Uh, bone... Bone zone instruction. Is my gonna no? Um, how to no? That's probably not gonna fit either. Bone zone. How to? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Even better. How to bone zone. Sign and close. Let's put this bad boy right here. People can now read it, and we could take this down. And let's go check out some of the other shops here because maybe we want to buy a thing or two, especially mending books. I would love to have a couple of mending books. Oops, I accidentally broke that. Whoa, what is this? Goat mending machine. One diamond block for one mending book. Diamond block into chest. Um, that seems expensive. A diamond block, is this B00? No. Goat mending, best... Best, best book, I can't read it, he's in the grass, best, <laughs> best book deals, okay, I don't know about that, because there's a bookstore right over there, and I know Corrales started a bookstore, I'm hoping that one's a little bit cheaper, I really like the bookstore, it looks awesome, stock will be filled the coming weeks, mending, special offer, mending books, five diamonds a book, that's way better, Oh, man. Oh, come on. Everything is empty? Everything? Oh, that's a bummer. I would have bought the crap out of some... Five diamonds a book. I could only buy one with the diamonds I have on me. I have some more diamonds at home. I don't have a uh, an end chest yet. I really need to kill an Enderman. 
<laughs> to make an end chest. Um, I know there's somebody else. I just saw somebody else working on a shop over here. So maybe, well, we won't go over there because maybe we'll spoil. Look at the bone zone. Now that is a sign. I mean, you totally know where the bone zone is. I think I'm going to sell souvenirs right in these corners. This would be perfect. This could be for the, the wool. This over here could be for the mutton. And then that one over there could be for the sheep heads. Or maybe sheep heads here and mutton over there. I doubt the... I doubt the mutton's going to be a, a top seller. But I have four corners to work with. That's to operate the game, that corner. And then these corners could just be selling souvenirs from the bone zone. I mean, what awesome game is complete without some souvenirs? Am I right? Absolutely, I'm right. Suddenly a spicy etho. Hi. Hey, do you still need bumpkins? Because I have a bunch of pumpkins that I've been growing for Etho just because he's my friend. Came to check out what you're up to. Oh. Okay. Follow me. Here, watch this. Watch this, Etho. Watch this. I don't remember where I have them. Uh, come this way. I'm going to make Etho check out my, my sheep farm without even knowing it. He's probably following me thinking he's getting pumpkins. But look it. Just, just going to show my sheep farm. Huh? Huh? That's all. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. All right. I think I have the pumpkins over here. Come this way, Etho. Come this way. I'm just giving him a tour without even him even knowing it. Just leading <laughs> leading him along my base here. Huh? Look at this. That's my house right there. It's pretty cool, huh? I haven't really done anything. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. And then I have some... I think I have some, some pumpkins in here for him. I hope I have some pumpkins in here for him. Let me see here. Oops. That's That's for me. That's for me. Very inviting. Uh, warm. Yes, very warm. Hmm. Where the heck did I put your pumpkins? Trying to find your pumpkins. One sec. I had a bunch. I had like two stacks of pumpkins for them, but now I just, uh, I just forgot where they, oh, oh, I could just get these. If he's not, he's not following me. How's your gold supply? It's not bad. Just came back from another mining trip by the way somebody uh, commented in the last or the gold uh, collecting video that i must have cheated because i had so much gold do you even minecraft bro uh the mesa is filled with gold there's more gold than iron in the mesa more gold than probably coal honestly there's gold everywhere so yeah that's where i was uh mining for gold and that's why i got so much gold and i just came back from there actually oh look another pumpkin here's here's some Here's some. I got more somewhere. I'm going to try to find the other ones. I think they're probably in here in my first. I haven't moved all the stuff out. That should be enough. Oh, really? Because I got more. I'm telling you I got more. There we go. There's another 38. Here you go, Ethos. Another 38. That's probably enough then. No prob. Okay, good stuff. Like, you, you, you like my llamas? <laughs> so, Jelly, he wants one? I'm, I'm thinking about starting up another shop and selling llamas, actually, including delivery. Llama Rama coming soon. They are the greatest. Llama Rama coming soon, Etho. Just keep an eye out. Look, he doesn't even have full diamond armor. Oh, snap. <laughs> oh, this this thing almost uh, poked me in the face. Yeah, if you want a llama, I mean... You can pre-order if you like. No, I won't say that. I won't say that because I'm not ready to sell my llamas. Um, that's He's looking at my beach now. That's my beach in the making. Yeah, and these are my shops. Speaking of shops, I have to design a couple of uh, market stalls to sell some some wool out at uh, the Bone Zone. Huh? Did you leave me these gold blocks? These weren't here before. Nice. Thanks. Oh, that's awesome. Love me some gold blocks. Gonna need it for my uh, super tacky hacienda. 
Hey, look, it's Impulse. Um, okay, so I have got a plan, and we're going to start right over here. Now, I was thinking, how, how can I make this good so that... So that it doesn't all, like, it's, it can't all be sandstone. I'll just check to see if anybody played. Um, it can't all be sandstone, right? All sandstone is kind of boring. So, I think what we do is, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use birch, because birch kind of, birch kind of matches with uh, the sandstone. I think it'll look really, really nice. We just got to, like, give it a chance. Give it a chance, guys. Give it. Also, how come we don't have, like, a woodcutter? We have stone cutters, no wood cutters. Not cool. Let me see. Um, all right, I think what we do is we st start there. Then we have to put something here. And what we're going to do is we're going to get a couple of these guys going. Actually, I think I only need one. But eventually I'll need another one when I make every corner of the, of the shop this same thing. Now I'm going to need a little bit of fence action. Okay, so we'll go like this. We'll go like this. Boom. Got it. So we'll do this. I'll do too high. Too high. Where's the other piece of stairs? Piece of stairs, huh? Okay, so now we got stairs, stairs. We got one, two, three, four, five. So now, uh, this might be a little bit... I might have to do a little bit taller here. Let's go like this. Okay, we'll put that stair there. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. We'll put that stair there. Also not bad. And now at the top, let me think here. We got to do some sort of a fancy situation. We got to go We got to go like this. Oh, you know what? I'm going to need some slabs, I think. Huh? This is going to look really nice, guys. I promise you. Uh, let's go like that. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. Let's do... Trying to think where the slabs go right here. I'm trying to think what would look best. Just a straight slab like this? I don't think so. I think what we're going to do is. You know what? I think I want to. Uh... No. No. I think I want something like that to make it look kind of nice. Yeah. Let's see how that looks once we're done. Although. What we could do is we can make this a stair, and that'll look, make it look even better. Okay, we got a nice shape going over there, and it kind of matches with the sandstone around it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. Okay, so now I want to use uh, wool as the actual, like, awning on it. I think that makes the most sense. So I want to have it... Hmm. Again, again, we have to, like, figure this out. Let's do... Let's do this. Ooh, which way should it face, though? Which way should it face? What if we did... What if we did a checkerboard pattern? No, I don't think I want to do checkerboard pattern. Let's just go with a straight line. Like this. Oops, nope, that's not where I wanted to put that one. Uh-huh. Okay, we'll do that. I think this is going to look nice, guys. Trust me on this. You got to wait until I put the details. It's all about the details. Um, wait. Oh, no, not that again. I'm terrible at placing blocks, guys. I've only been playing this game for 10 years. 10 flipping years. Okay, so we got that down. That's not bad at all. I like the way this looks. You know what we should do is add a little bit of extra something on the top here. Since it's a uh, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, it's even on both sides. So maybe what we do is we add a little birch slab at the top, possibly. Ooh, maybe even a little bit of fence at the top afterwards. That'd be kind of fun. Here, let's try this. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We do the middle like this, and then we do we do just a little tiny fence right there. Oh, 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 I like that. Okay, let's let's step back. Come on. And look at it a little bit. If we go from this angle. Oh, yeah. That looks really, really nice. Now, there is something that bothers me when I do stuff like this. And these corners right here, they, they're very, very flimsy. You see what I, you see what I mean? So what we're going to do is we're going to use birch to create some trap doors. 
Uh, let's make a few more here because we're going to need a bunch. And then we're going to place them with the with the black part in. So oh, right there, right there. No, we don't want that there. It doesn't go there. Uh-huh. That's much better. And then we're going to do the same thing on top. Let's put these two here and the same thing on top to make it all match. So the back here doesn't look very well supported. Um, so what we're going to do in this case is we're going to... Now we switch to sandstone. No, it really wasn't. <laughs> ah, he, uh, he released the wither and uh, didn't uh, wasn't able to kill it very easily, but, but he managed. Yeah, so the back is going to look like that. Okay, I'm wondering if I should put like some sort of a backing on it too, because you'll be able to see it like from here. Yeah, let me think about this a little bit. Uh, maybe what we do is we remove this. Thank you. We put another one of the, we'll put a smooth sandstone block up there. Okay, and now we might be able to add something back here. Let me think. There. Much, much better. We got a little sandstone uh, support going on with the awning coming down. So that gives it a nice little shape from the back. And then the front still looks really, really professional here. It still looks cozy and inviting. This is what we want. We want people to come in here and want to spend their money. Now. I think maybe a couple of supports back here would be good with a little bit of birch fence. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking if we can do possibly some fence gates. Uh, fence gates are like this. Two, three. Oh. Okay, well, let's just see how these two look. Up top here. One, two, three. Yeah, we need we need what? Uh, one, two, three, four more. Perfect, perfect. Things are looking really good. Hi there, B. <laughs> the B is like my uh, my next door neighbor. Oh, I like that a lot. Oh, that's gonna look so cool. And in each corner, I'm gonna have different colored um, awnings here. You know what? I might even build one for over here. I might even do that. Why not? Have it all match. I love the back there. The back's looking really good. I mean, I could probably do the same on the back as I did on the front to make it match. I think that's probably what I'll do because this kind of doesn't really look even. So I'll use some wood on the back, same as I did on the front, and uh, and try to match it as much as possible. The only problem is it's going to be a little bit shorter. It's going to go one, one. Oh, actually. Uh, you know what? I think it's actually going to work out better because we're going to have to go from here to there. Instead of from pillar to pillar. Yeah. Okay. The shop is almost done, but I need somebody to man it or sheep it or something. Um, so we're bringing in Jeb. Jeb the sheep. Jeb underscore. If you name a sheep Jeb underscore, it, uh, it does this. It changes colors. It's actually pretty cool. Um, so Dinner Bones in the middle. He's the, the subject of, of the game. But Jeb is going to man the shop. At least one of the shops. I think Jeb is probably going to end up managing... Or manning all of the shops. Uh, different Jebs, obviously. One Jeb is not enough for all that responsibility. Um, so, yeah, I'm bringing him over here the old-fashioned way. I could take him through the nether, but ah, animals and portals and stuff, they're a little bit tricky sometimes. Now, will Jeb, will Jeb jump up over these uh, this counter? I don't think he will because of the, of the grass. So, I think we're okay. Jeb is in here. We've got the wool in here and stuff. Um, what I wanted to do, I wanted to, like... Maybe add a couple of these guys back here to just make it look like, hey, come and get the wool. And then we'll put we'll put the main sign. Ooh, you know what? I might actually use a sign sign instead of a... I actually named this one one diamond per stack, but I don't want people to get confused, you know? And, and, and possibly possibly think that just the yellow is a diamond a stack and the other ones are a different price. I don't know. So let's put the more colorful ones here. Okay, a little orange. What else we got? A little light, a little light blue, yeah, and a little cyan here. Perfect. Attract some customers here with the bright colors. I need a lantern for here and here, or a lamp. I don't know what they're called actually. Lanterns, I'm pretty sure. So how should I do this? I think maybe I'll have to do like an actual sign, one diamond per stack, and I'll put it down here. Over here, I have a sign that says Bone Zone Souvenirs. So that makes sense that I'd have a, a sign each right here 
that says one diamond per stack. As you can see, I've got one stack of each and two stacks of yellow. <laughs> yellow is the is the most is it two stacks of yellow? Now I don't know. Yellow and yellow. Yep, two stacks of yellow. And that Jeb! You sneaky bugger! So you will um Okay, how about this? Can we do that? Jeb, come here. Come here. Can we stick you in a boat? Jeb? Will that work? Or does there need to be water? Oh. Oh, something just... Oh. Sorry, Joe! Dang it. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on. We're gonna put... We're gonna put water here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Jeb is now in the water. I don't know if this will work, but let's see. Jeb needs to... Kind of move. Okay, Jeb, come over here. Come on. Did the thing break? It broke. Okay. <laughs> Love animals in Minecraft. They're the best. Okay. Now, put down the boat. And now, bring Jeb over. Aha! Now, can I pick up the water? Jeb is now in the boat. Jeb is turning the wrong way. Or, turned the wrong way, though. Can I turn him the right way? Let me try this again. Perfect! I did it! I did it! Jeb is in the boat, and he is selling wool. Oh, this is great! Okay, now I'm just gonna grab some more things for decoration, and we should be good, I think. Oh, dude, you're gonna do you're gonna do such a good job. I hope he doesn't get out of the boat at some point, because I guess Jeb can wander around here. He'd, he'd be okay. There's no monsters here. No nothing. <gasps> Wandering trader. Here we go, keeping it pretty simple. Got a couple of hanging lanterns there on the side. You got a little bush here or a plant. You got some shears, of course, on the table. I removed the carpet because it looks cleaner. I got a little plant pot or potted potted mushroom back there, another lantern. And then, of course, you got the wool here on display. One diamond per stack. And that's going to be it for today's episode. One diamond per stack. It's pretty clear. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.